Hi, my name is Jasmine and I am going to be taking you into this exciting new world of digital marketing. I am an MBA with 7 plus years of digital marketing experience with Google India. I also have retail sale and channel management experience with Titan and Shopperstop. I have got cross vertical experience across business and industrial markets, consumer packaged goods and other segments. I have also worked on pre-sale solutions which include strategic opportunity analysis, custom pictures and media solutions as well as post-sale solutions including optimization, account growth and consolidation solutions. Currently, I am a digital marketing trainer and consultant. I also work with a lot of NGOs and charities on their digital marketing. Across the years, I have explored different modes of advertising ranging from digital media to print media, outdoor advertising and in-store POP offers. I am excited about the way all of these modes interact and bring holistic value to the client. I have enjoyed working on this course and I hope you like it too. So what is digital marketing all about? Digital marketing is basically marketing using electronic devices to people using these devices. In today's times, there is a lot of traffic on the digital superhighway. Everybody is spending time online and everybody is doing so using different devices. Now, wherever there are lots of people, there is lots of opportunity. You will be surprised to know that 40% of the world's population is online and that is a huge, huge number which translates to huge, huge marketing potential. It is important that your brand plans for digital marketing and, and includes this in the overall marketing plan. This course will help you understand the scope of digital marketing, the various elements, how it can be used and the various challenges. Let's take a look at the course content. In the first module, which is the introduction to digital marketing, you will be introduced to the concept, the various elements and its scope. The search engine optimization module talks about how you can optimize your website to appear higher in search engine ranking. The third module, which is the fundamentals of search engine marketing, talks about paid forms of marketing, where we speak about search engine marketing for search and display networks, the fundamental concepts the parameters to watch out for. In advanced search engine marketing, we will spend some more time looking at search networks in detail, different types of campaigns and the various targeting options. In the advanced display marketing, we will spend time looking at display network specific information. Display marketing is more of an art than a science. We will explore that in detail. The social media marketing module focuses on how you can use social media both in its paid and non-paid forms. As a brand, how do you create your identity on the various social media, how these interact with each other and how you can get the best out of social media is what we will learn in this module. Mobiles, nearly 30% of internet traffic today is on mobiles. Therefore, it becomes critical that you understand how to market to these people and what are the various factors that you need to keep in mind when you are designing your mobile market strategy. How does user behavior change? How can you cater to that and how can you use this medium not only to market on mobiles but also to market with mobiles? Emails today are synonymous. People send emails more than actually calling each other or talking to each other. How can you use this medium to promote your brand? How can you use this medium to find potential clients and to take them through the sales funnel to convert? That is what we will learn in the email marketing module. In the digital analytics module, we will see how you can measure the right data, report the right data, analyze it and use this information to optimize all your campaigns better. In the final module, which is integrated digital marketing campaigns, we will talk about how all these various channels work together, how there should be synergy between them and how each channel should add on to your brand image rather than taking something away and how they should not end up confusing the user but instead add to a greater user experience. Thank you.